nine months work depends on 90 minutes against Berry in the third division playoff final. Yes, a wonderful moment in any player's career, but today there's nothing for the losers. Chesterfield on the left in the blue shirts. Your match commentator, John Hell. Yes, this year Wembley has summoned Chesterfield and Berry to the game's Stadium of Legends. And here they come. Chesterfield manager John Duncan springs no surprises. Kevin Davis isn't totally recovered from a virus, but does get a place on the bench. His deputy again is Jonathan Howard, who matched Nicky Law's feet in scoring twice in that playoff semi-final against Mansfield. If ever there was a player who's considered a lucky mascot, it's Phil Robinson. This is his sixth appearance at Wembley, and surely a record gets with his fifth different club. Berry, who took four points from Chesterfield during the league campaign, make one enforced change from the side that knocked out Preston North End in the semi-final, with Tony Kelly sent off in the last minute of that match, it gave Jim, Jimmy Mulligan a chance in the number seven shirt to stands is a familiar figure to Yorkshire television viewers his rampaging style made him a favorite at Mansfield town and he will be the principal threat to Chesterfield's defense the referee for this game Paul Alcock from the London area Jim Brown that's a fairy story isn't it really he's the commercial manager of Chesterfield he last played against Reading in November 1988 and finds himself on Wembley Beauty. Scott made an intelligent run there to take possession and slips the ball back neatly to Stanislaus. They cross from Stanislaus towards Pugh, who goes down in a heap, but failed to make contact with the ball. with the header. Lee Rogers, one of those three Chesterfield players who was here against Cambridge five years ago, onto the head of Morris, another of the three. So, and it's Robinson now. The Wembley regular. Chance here. A striking chance for Law where it breaks for Hewitt who just had his ankle tapped. And that uh, is a corner kick. For Chesterfield, their first. One by some good hustling. Stamp's got to go back and help defend for his side now. The former Corporal Stamp. There's Hazel with this corner kick for Chesterfield. And they've got height in there. Law and Carr both forward. Oh, what a chance. No, right on the edge of the six yard box, Tony Lorma hooks his shot over the top of the very crossbar but the first genuine opening of the match Hazel's kick was too deep for Darren Carr who's the tallest man but Andy Morris got up there and then Warmer just hooked it over <laughs> Nicky Law it is long there's Morris and here's a goal maybe yes Chesterfield score marvellous moment Chesterfield take the lead from that ploy that has worked so often. Lorma gets the goal, Chesterfield arms raised in salute, and Nicky Law's throw-in leads to the breakthrough for Chesterfield. There's the long throw, Morris is the target, it was beyond him, and Lorma stealing in there another look at this one the players involved Robinson is almost on the line but I don't think he touched it we've had the official attendance this afternoon it's 22,815 and at the moment it looks as though it's the ones from Chesterfield who are the majority in this crowd this afternoon they're the ones who are going to going back home happy tonight Law with the long throw Oh, and missed by Lucchetti, here's Robinson, must be a goal! 2-0 Chesterfield, Phil Robinson. 
the lucky mascot of Wembley gives Chesterfield what could be a crucial advantage. Awful defending. Chesterfield don't care about that. Two goals from two throw-ins from Nicky Law, but this is a dreadful mistake. Lucchetti lets the ball bounce over the top of him, and there is Robinson, a straightforward header, and it's 2-0. Phil Robinson goes into double figures for the season, but that's the most famous goal of his career. Tony Lorma, a recent goal-scoring hero for Chesterfield, has kept his average up of one every two games with his 12th of the season. That was vital. Perhaps even more vital was Phil Robinson's goal in the last five minutes of the half. Takes him into double figures for the season and takes Chesterfield into the break, 2-0 ahead. stood still here's Davies off and he allows the ball to brush off his chest the glory could have been his and again he's got a chance Davies he must run in perhaps he can score what a moment for Davies the keeper blocks it Andy Morris it goes over the top of the keeper and Kelly with a, a back punch manages to keep it at bay it could so easily have been greener Chesterfield are promoted to Division 2. They get their just desserts. The side that finished in third position in the table is promoted. A huge smile on the face of their captain and their inspiration, Nicky Law. He brought them to Wembley. They conquered at Wembley. And he receives the trophy and his own personal medal from Mike Naylor, managing director of Ensley Insurance. Chesterfield are promoted to Division 2.